Today's video is brought to you by The Ridge Wallet. Ridge.com slash PipNight. The Ridge is a quality, minimalistic front pocket product designed to upgrade from the old bulky wallet. The Ridge is slim, RFID blocking, holds up to 12 cards and room for cash. It also has over 30,000 five-star reviews. The Ridge Wallet comes in a whole range of styles, including carbon fiber, forged carbon, titanium, and many other styles to suit your needs. Ridge also offers other great accessories like phone cases, bags, mobile charging, knives, and a lot of other great quality products. Take advantage of the free shipping so you can get it fast, free returns if you don't like it, and it comes with a lifetime guarantee. Get 10% off today with free worldwide shipping and returns by going to ridge.com slash pipnight. That's right, ridge.com slash pipnight and use code pipnight, link in the description. Thanks Ridge for the channel sponsor and to all those who have purchased their products. What's up, it's you for today's video. We'll be full shiny red Pokemon team. Last time we did a shiny white Pokemon team, so I thought, you know what? Let's do a shiny red one. There's some pretty interesting shiny red Pokemon out there. If you want to follow me on Twitch, make sure you do this where I do all my live theme team battles, Pokemon sweeps, all that sort of stuff there. And now I take my battles there too, so that's uh, probably a good place to go if you want to come and battle with the big boy. All right, so we got a uh, battle today. We got two battles. This one was against Aliana, and we got a Taurus lead here. So I've got Clawwitzer uh, as my lead Pokemon. Now, this is actually a physical uh, Clawwitzer here, and I thought I'd run uh, the Clawwitz on this thing because it's quite a... I actually really like it as a shiny uh, red Pokemon. It looks really like a big shrimp or prom. So we got Bounce, Crab Hammer, Iron Tail, and Sword Dent. Now, this is actually a critting set with Scope Lens, so I thought, you know what, even though there's a Intimidate up, let's go for Crab Hammer, right? I still might be able to crit, like, get a crit, right? Crab Hammer's got a crit chance, and I'm holding Scope Lens too, so there's a pretty good chance it's going to happen. Unfortunately, the Taurus is going to be setting up the Sunny Day there. I get the crit, but the Sunny Day really, really powered it down. So, unfortunately, I've got to swap out my uh, Clawitzer now, and we're going to be going into Delmice, right? So, Delmice is another really cool red shiny Pokemon, in my opinion. That sea, I guess the seaweed on the on the uh, anchors like looks really nice on it. So, the Taurus is going to be going for a Solar Beam here, Special Taurus, only on Pete Show. And uh, this is not going to do anything to Delmize at all, right? That resist, and I'm also running Max Health too. So, Max Health, Max Special Attack, and we got Choice Specs on this one too. So, we got the Steelworker Worker ability, so what I'm going to be running is Flash Cannon for that. We got Hydro Mist, Giga Drain, and Shadow Ball, right? Now, we got the Taurus swapping out here, and the next Pokemon that's going to come in is another Taurus. So, we got a full Taurus team. So, basically, Ash Ketchum, when he went to the Safari Zone, he caught like 69 Taurus. So, this is like. Uh, a little bit of his team. All right, so we got our uh, Flash Cannon and Hydro Ball. I reckon probably Flash Cannon is going to be go-to move here. It did a lot of damage to the first Taurus, so I might as well just go for it again there. So the uh, Taurus is going to be going for a Flame Trial there in the sun. Does a fair bit of damage to me, but I still live that one due to, you know, basically Taurus's bad special attack, and I uh, was running a bit of bulk on this too. So that Taurus is going to be going down there. The Fire Nation attacked, and the uh, the Taurus went down. Sorry, I was just looking at the nickname. So the next Pokemon is a Taurus. Now, this Taurus is going to be a Dynamax Taurus. I was like, okay, we've seen a special Taurus so far. Is this going to be a physical one? Like, what is it going to be, right? Now, on this team, I had a really, really cool strategy, right? But you got to watch the whole battle to see what happens. It's a pretty, pretty uh, out there sort of strategy. And this sort of made the battle quite long, exactly like something else, right? So we've got one big ball here, and this Taurus is going to be going for a max darkness. It's like, okay, well, that's definitely going to take my Delmize out. Nothing I'm going to be able to do there, right? And Delmize goes down. But Delmize did a pretty good job there. Firing off those Steelworker Flash Cannons was uh, no joke. Very A very good uh, Dynamax Pokemon on this team, too. Like, a lot of the battles, not this one, but a lot of the battles I did do, I did choose to Dynamax it. So now we're going to go into Gyarados here. Now, Gyarados is going to have the Intimidate. In case it is a physical user, I'm going to drop his attack there. This is actually a special Gyarados. Normally, I run a Choice Specs one. We're going to be running a Damproc, Hurricane, Rain Dance, Thunder, and Brine set, right? Now, Brine's a really sort of quirky move, right? You get a double base power uh, when the opponent is obviously half or less, right? But it's kind of hard to do because you've got to put them in that health range and then use the move. So I decided to go for a Dynamax Gyarados here and I thought if I could get the rain up I might be able to fire stuff off like you know Thunder later on uh, for 100% accuracy and Hurricane for 100% accuracy as well there. So Gyarados is a max speed max special attack set. I was running on this one uh, modest nature because you know Gyarados' special attack isn't the greatest in the world right now. Now Taurus is going to outspeed me and it's going to hit me uh, not for a lot of damage there but it is 
he's going to drop my stats there. So, uh, Gary Race here, I can either set the rain up or I can go for the, uh, you know, the electric terrain with the thunder. I decide to go for the max guys here. Go for the stab and do as much damage as possible, right? To the Taurus. Now, Taurus isn't going to take a lot of damage from this initial one either, but the next one, it is going to take a lot of damage, right? I should almost be able to take this out if I get a crit. It actually might even go down. So, Taurus is going to go for a max flutter bar here, and unfortunately for me, that is going to drop my very, very average uh, special attack there. So I know this is not going to do too much damage now. So Garrett is going to go for a max airstream this time. I'm going to just try and boost my speed here, right? So I thought if I boost my speed, I might be able to outspeed, you know, the rest of the Tauros gang, right? Because Taurus has got some pretty good speed about me. Now, Taurus is out of its uh, Dynamax now. Three turns has passed. I can go for a max guys here and try and finish it off, right? So we got that uh, last turn of Dynamax on Garrus. Hopefully I can take the, uh, you know, the Red Ball out. And obviously, um, since it's not in Dynamax anymore, that was probably just enough damage to take it out. So that was also my last turn of Dynamax on my Garrus. And we got the next Taurus coming out here. So bye-bye Dynamax with Taurus. So I can go for Hydro Miss in the Rain, or I can go for a, high, a Hurricane in the Rain, which is 100%. Or I was thinking, you know what? I'm going to swap it because it probably won't do that much. Anyway, now we're going to go into Claw Wits here. Um, since we don't have an Intimidate and stuff like that, we got a wild charge by... Oh, that was pretty wild. So that did over half my health. And since, obviously, Clawwitzer isn't the fastest Pokemon in the world, right, I had to swap it out. Um, unfortunately, Clawwitzer, I was going to go for a Crab Hammer and a Rain, but that didn't happen. So now what I'm going to do, right, is I'm going to go into Sol Galea. Now, obviously, Sol Galea, I put this on this thing because I know lots of people didn't... Don't really... You either like this shiny red Pokemon or you hate it, right? Um... I personally like Lunala better, right? But I know some people do like Shiny Solgaleo. And some people... there's a, I think there's a lot of people that don't. Like, let me know, like, out of this thing. Like, do you like... Uh, like, what Shiny Red Pokemon do you like the most? Or what ones do you hate the most? Okay, so we got this really, really bulky Solgaleo set, right? We got a Rest, Noble Roar, Bulldoze, Fire Spin set. Now, I didn't do a lot of damage to Taurus, but I did drop at speed, right? And I thought, you know what? Let's go back into Clawwitz. I should be able to outspeed it. I doubt they're going to go for a Wild Charge now, right? So here comes a Revenge from the Taurus. I am going to be able to live that one nice and easy there. So I went for the Crab Hammer, and Crab Hammer demolishes the next uh, Taurus there with a crit. So that was really, really, really good there. And initially, it wasn't great because I took a lot of damage from Wild Charge, but it kind of worked out there in the end with the Solgaleo swapping in. But next Pokemon is Taurus. This one's called the Beef. So the Beef's going to go for a Wild Charge. So two of them had Wild Charge. And Clawwitzer is going to be going down now, unfortunately. But it did its job. It did a fine job there. Clawwitzer absolutely pops off in the next battle. So make sure you stick around for that one. Next Pokemon we got here is the Gyarados. I thought, let's swap it in. Let's go get that Intimidate upright. So dropping the Tauros's attack there. We don't want that doing much damage. And I thought, well, I can go for either a uh, Hurricane or a Hydra Miss here. Or I can just you know, use it as a health sponge to get rid of the Gyarados and do some damage to the Tauros. That's what I did there in the end. So it outsped me. If it did outspeed me, I was prepared to... To, like, lose Gyarados anyway. So it is what it is, right? So I'm going to go back into my Sol Galeo now. This is a bulky Sol Galeo. Oh, the EVs in this one. I forgot to say. We were running a max elf, obviously. And I was running a max uh, defensive set on this one. Now, I had a uh, Bulldoze on there. In case I did Dynamax it, Bulldoze could, you know, boost my special defense. So we're going to trap that Taurus in with the Fire Spin there. There is not, there's not nothing can really do to me. It's only doing very, very minimal damage. So here comes the Giga Impact from Taurus. Looks absolutely awesome. Obviously, that was his best uh, move it could use against me or just... They really couldn't do a lot right now. So I'm going to keep going for the Bulldoze here, and that is going to take out the Taurus. Now, I've got a Chesto Berry as the item on this, so I can go for a rest and just heal myself up the full right. But I'm trying to prepare them. What I want to do, right, is I want to actually get them down to their very, very last Pokemon because I've got a strategy right that I want to use. Now, on my team, there's a, there's, there's a couple of Pokemon that are quite useless. They don't have a... Or one Pokemon in particular that I haven't swapped out is quite useless. It has no attacking moves whatsoever. It can't do anything, right? It's purely to set up another Pokemon. So why I've only... You know, I've still got three Pokemon left. Initially, I've really only got two left, right, that can actually do anything. So in comes the, uh, the, the, that's the, the fifth Taurus. We've seen this one before, the Weather Ball. So Weather Ball, I, obviously this is the Solar Beam one. It's going to go for a Surf here. So it's got, uh, it's got like Sunny Day Solar Beam and Surf. So interesting sort of set there. Now, I'm going to go for a Bulldoze here. I need to take them, once again, I need to take them down to their very last Pokemon to have this strategy to work right. Now, I'm not saying you couldn't get it to work if it wasn't their last Pokemon, but it's probably better than it is because they won't be able to swap that sort of thing right. So we've got Surf. Surf is doing nothing to Solgaleo here. All I've got is Fire Spin and Bulldoze, but it will be enough to take the Taurus out eventually, right? Now we've got another Surf here. 
from Taurus. Taurus's best attack clearly is Surf to use against my Solgaleo. It's really not doing a lot of damage. Right? I was kind of curious what their last one would be. So finally getting the Fire Spin up there. Fire Spin and the Bulldozer is going to be able to take this next Taurus out uh, on the turn, right? Next turn, which is going to be nice. So here comes another Surf from the Taurus. Surf number like 5,000. It's getting close to getting half to my health. So that's that's not bad, I guess. So here comes, we got another Bulldozer and the next Taurus is going to go down. Well, the Weather Ball is going to go down. One more Pokemon here and finally I can start doing my strategy, right? So the last Pokemon is Sleeping Bull. Now, since it's called Sleeping Bull, right, it could be a troll nickname, but it might have rest, right? So it's going to go for a body slam there. I do not get paralyzed. What I'm going to do, right, is I'm going to go for Nova Roll. Now, I'm not doing this to drop the Taurus's stats, which, believe it or not, uh, you probably find out that you probably don't know what I'm talking about right now, but I'm do I want to drop their stats, right, uh, for another reason. So I'm dropping the stats their, um, their stats there, and I'm going to go for a Bulldoze here. Now, Bulldoze, I want to drop their speed, right? But I'm not doing it to drop their speed uh, initially, right? Because um, we've got a little strategy right now. It's going to be all explained. So I'm going to go into Graplock now. Now, Graplock is the Pokemon I was talking about that didn't have any attacking moves whatsoever, right? So here comes a Bulldoze from the Taurus. This is a very, very bulky Graplock set. Max Health and Max Fence. So we've got Protect, Rest, Octolock, as a strategy, right? Now, what I wanted to do, right, is I wanted to go for Octolock. I wanted to lock the Taurus in. Obviously, um, yeah, obviously, if it's their last Pokemon, it's uh, better uh, for this strategy, right? But if it's not, you could always lock them in. But um, we've also got the Octolock doing the negative in defense and special defense, right, every single turn. And that's what I wanted. So Taurus is going to be protected and Octolock for six turns, right? That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to make sure that Taurus's uh, you know, stats are actually at negative six. Remember, it speeds at negative one, too as well as its uh, special attack and attack, right? Because I did that with Nova Raw. So just bear that one in mind. Now, I've got Topsy Turvy on this set. Now, once I get all the boost, obviously, to negative six on everything, right? On it, When I say everything, I mean special defense and defense. Then I'm going to go Topsy Turvy. And what Topsy Turvy is going to do is going to make them plus six in defense and plus six in special defense, plus one in speed from the Bulldoze and plus one in special attack and attack from the Noble Raw, right? So you're probably wondering, why would you do that for? Why would you make the Taurus really, really hard to take out and give it like better stats or? Well, that's the strategy we're gonna be going with. There's one more Pokemon left here that's gonna complete the Grap Block and the uh, Grap Block strategy. I'm not, I nearly said the Pokemon's name then. So we got another, I think that's, I'm not sure what number we're up to here. I couldn't do much here. I just went for Protect. I want to stall out the Taurus as like much as possible, right? Because uh, Body Slam, if it critted me, would like kind of be nasty. If I got paralyzed, that would be bad too there, right? So we got another special event drop there. Uh, Taurus is going to be going for yet another body slam. Here. This one actually crits me, but it's a good thing, right? Because the strategy has now been done. I'm going to go for a topsy turvy, right? So that's going to swap all the negative stats into positive stats. So that Taurus has got a lot of positive stats right now. So now Taurus is basically a machine. It's unbeatable, right? It's got plus six in attack and plus six in defense. We're going to go into Soul Rock. This is the last play here with the Grap Block and Soul Rock combination, right? Another really cool red Pokemon too. So Taurus is going to go for a Hyper Beam. They were saving that Hyper Beam there for my Grap Block. And it's not going to be very effective against a Soul Rock. Thank goodness that would have done a lot of damage. So now they're on recharge. I'm going to go for a Psych Up here. Psych Up is going to copy all those stat changes. So you're probably thinking, oh, well, okay, well, that's that's fine. Um, you're both at plus six, right? So you're both at the same sort of stats in Special Defense and Attack. It's still going to be very hard to take out the Taurus, right? So I, like, I agree, you know, you're, you're right. But we've still got some strategy to go here, right? So we're going to go for the Meteor Beam there. That's going to boost my special attack once again there. I've got the Power Herb as the item, which is going to give me initial boost in special attack. So go for the Meteor Beam here. I knew that it definitely wouldn't take the Taurus out. And once again, I think the Taurus might have... It could have rest too, because it's called Sleeping Ball. And they do use rest. So at this stage, right... There's no way I can take a Taurus out with Meteor Beam because if you think about it, it's going to take me two turns to take it out with Meteor Beam and they can keep going for rest and it does half health, right? So it's a stalemate, right? However, I've got to use my last move here, which is Laser Focus, which is going to make it a 100% uh, critical hit and then I can go for another attacking move. So I basically planned this one out right before I even set the Soul Rocking. We're gonna go for a stored power from all the boosts that I gave the Taurus. I copied them and then 100% made a crit and took the last Pokemon out. A pretty uh, Galaxy Brain strategy there. Hope you've enjoyed this. 
I'm sorry this first battle was so long, but I had to do, I had to do that with the Grapplock and the Sorok combination. It took that long to do. All right, let's get on to the second battle. And this battle was kind of interesting too. Um, I'm not going to say too much. It's, it's hard not to spoil this battle. Okay, my next opponent was Jacqueline. I think this actually was on the uh, random... Uh, Joe Quinn, sorry, not Jacqueline. Uh, this was actually on the random Wi-Fi today. So we got a uh, Raichu lead here. So things aren't looking great here for the Kluwitzer. I've got to swap this out here, right? I was expecting... Okay, you know, it's got to use Fake Out, Bolt Switch, or Thunderbolt, right? Or maybe a Nasty Plot expected to swap. They're the sort of four things I was thinking about in my head, right? So uh, we're going to go into Delmice here. Obviously, that would be great against Fake Out. Any electric type move would be resisted, right? So here comes the uh, Volt Switch, and Raichu is going to be swapping out here, right? Now, I really, really thought this would be a good battle for Delmice, uh, judging on the uh, team and stuff like that. So we got the um, Barrascuda coming in. It's going to go for a Crunch. I was like, okay. I thought they might go for a Flip turn, but they went for Crunch there. So Crunch does a reasonable amount of damage. I thought they'd go into another Pokemon. That's why I didn't go for Giga Drain. So I went for Shadow Ball. And it didn't really matter too much if I went for Giga Drain. The only good thing was I could have got a lot of health, like all my health back from that, uh, you know, from the Giga Drain there. It had a Focus Lash. So we're going to go into Gyarados now. Gyarados is going to drop his attack there. I don't think it's going to do a lot of damage to me now. It doesn't really... I don't think it's got much coverage outside of Crunch against the Gyarados either. Like, water type move, Fighting type move. I'd say Crunch is the best bet against the Gyarados. Now it crits my Gyarados. I was like, man, that really, really sucks. So we got the uh, Basculin uh, swapping out. Not the Basculin, the Barrascooter. You can roast me in the comment section. It's fine. And we got the uh, Mr. Mime coming in here, right? So I went for the Brine on Mr. Mime. And it did pretty it did pretty good damage considering it's Brine, right? So going for the Hurricane, I was guessing that... Um, Freeze dry was coming my way, and then I get a confusion from the hurricane. I was like, man, this is really, really good, right? If I can get it hit itself, I can take it out with a brine, right? However, it doesn't hit itself for confusion, and Gyarados is most definitely gonna go down to uh only said brine then to freeze dry. Goodbye, Gyarados. It was uh it was real, man. So the next one we got here, we got is Clawitzer. So let's see if we can get this Clawitzer going, right? It's a very hard strategy to use because it's so slow, you've got to set a sword dance up, then you've got to go for a bounce, right? Uh, under the um Dynamax to get some speed up. It's not very fast and it doesn't have a lot of attack either, so it's quite a lot of setup. So I thought, you know what, let's Dynamax Clawitzer and see what we can do here. Now, Clawitzer, um, this set I was running was max speed and max attack, if I didn't mention that before, and it was running Jolly Nature. I had to run Jolly on this one. Normally I would have run Animate, but it really, really needed Jolly because that's how that's how slow this Pokemon was, right? It's got a little bit of bulk to it too, and I thought not many people would predict like a physical run, right? So what we're going to do, right, is we're going to outspeed, which is nice, and we're going to go for the max airstream, and Mr. Mime is going to be going down there. So we got uh, one nice uh, plus one in uh, speed there, which is good. I would have loved to be able to get a sword dance off before I did that, but I felt with Mr. Mime snooping around there uh, with a freeze dry, there was no way that was going to happen, right? So in comes the Mag Cham. Now, I thought straight away, well, this has got to be bait, right? They've seen that I've got max airstream. What I'm thinking they're going to do right here is go for... G-Max may champ, and it's going to have, like, weakness policy. That's what I thought they'd do, right? So I didn't really want to play into their hands. I didn't want to give them a plus two, like, in attack. That could be really, really nasty. So I thought, like, you know what I should do is I could go for Max Steel Spike, right? Cover off the Iron Tail. I'll bolster my defense, and then I'll go for maybe a bounce on it afterwards if it's out of the G-Max. That was my thought anyway. I definitely didn't want to give this thing any more attack than it already has, right? So go for the Max Steel Spike instead, and it does pretty minimal damage to May Champ there. Obviously, it wasn't going to do... It's coming off as attack, and May Champ's fairly bulky, right? So getting a nice plus one into defense there, and then the May Champ's going to go for a Max Lightning. So that one is coming off like Thunder Punch, and it doesn't do a lot to claw it up. Now, the next one is going to do a lot if I don't go for a Max Steel Spike here, but then I'm thinking maybe I should get the water up, right, with the rain. Maybe I should go for... Um, or maybe I should go for Max Airstream. You know what I mean? Like, should I go for the Max Airstream? Does it have weakness posse? Was I wrong at thinking it did? And I was like, yeah, you know what? Let's just go for it, right? So I went for the Max, guys. Here. I got that rain up, and I thought, if I can get a Crab Hammer crit after I come out of Dynamax, that should that should take it out, right, with a rain boost and stuff like that. So getting that nice rain boost up there from the Clawitzer, the Lex uh, Crab Hammer is going to do a lot. And then it eats a Citrus Berry. I was sure they had a weakness policy then, like, like, why would you send it out into a flying-type move otherwise? Anyway, that's how the battle was, right? So here comes the next Thunder Punch. Clawitzer managed to take that one, too. And I will not be able to live on the next turn, right? Then I was starting to think, they've got one more turn left of Dynamax. Why don't I just go for a bounce here? So if I bounce in the sky, right, that'll mean that their move will miss. And then they'll come out of Dynamax. And then they'll be faced with the choice to stay in and go into another Pokemon. Or just, like, 
I don't know what they were going to do like that, but I thought they could definitely start like, like one turn of their Dynamax, right? And they'll be a normal main champ again. So bouncing out of the arena, Hacker exposed, and they're going to go for what? Like, I guess it's going to go for a Thunder Punch again or Max Lightning, whatever, and that is going to miss me there. So goodbye, Mei Champs, uh, G Max. Says. That was nice having bounce. One of the rare times where bounce is actually going to work there. So Mei Champ, if it's going to be no guard, this is always going to land. If it's not, well, it's 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 not going to land because it's me, right? And bounce actually doesn't take it out, but they went for a bulk up. They obviously under okay. They either I'm underestimated them at the amount of uh, damage that bounce would do, or they thought I was going to miss. That was the only thing I could have thought of there. Now I can go for a Crab Hammer and finish off the Mei Champ, right? So that is the Mei Champ down. They, they definitely mess up there, underestimating my uh, physical Claw Witzer, right? So bye-bye, Mei Champ. Next Pokemon to uh, come in is either thinking the Raichu or maybe the Barrascooter, right? And the next Pokemon is Raichu. So like, okay, Raichu. It's got an air balloon as an item. I've got Crab Hammer as my most powerful move here. I've got plus one in, in speed, but I wasn't sure if it was going to be enough. And it was enough to land on the Raichu. And Raichu is definitely not going to be leaving that one because it was a critical hit there, right? So that is three Pokemon down there now to my physical Clawitter, which, mind you, doesn't even have a plus. Like, it doesn't even have any boost in attack at all, right? Next Pokemon is Spooky, which is the uh, Dragon Ball. And I was, I was thinking, I was thinking, what if it goes for a Phantom Force? That'd be funny, because it's going to outspeed me. What, I should just go for a Bounce, right? And it did go for that, and I went for a Bounce. I was laughing so hard, right? Because it worked out so perfectly. So they went for the Shadow Force, which is now going to miss. And now I'm going to go for the Bounce, right? Which actually is going a hit because they initially outsped me right so going for the bounce there does some pretty good damage considering and i get a paralyzed so I was like wow everything is going my way now so going for iron tail i was like oh this is over let's go for that right they went for a phantom force again i was like wait i can just go for a bounce again right to dodge their phantom force and then take them out with a bounce so let's do that right so claw witcher is going to go for a bounce again bouncing up in the sky hacker suppose and uh, now they're obviously they're going to miss their move or they're going to get paralyzed right so their move didn't even happen and Crawlwitzer is going to take out the Dragapult with Bounce. That's four Pokemon down, and that was a crit too. they got to be a little bit salty at this like at this stage. Like, I know I would be. Okay, so the next Pokemon is the Swimmer one. It's on one health there, right? So I was like, mm, does it have Aqua Jet? Oh, that could take me out, maybe. So here comes a Crab Hammer. I outspeed it, and Barrascooter is down. That is five Pokemon down now. Can we get a sweep here? The last Pokemon is the... Um, talk all right with the drought so i was like okay i can swap in grap lock and just drop its defenses swap it in and then take it out with crab hammer and then they dc well they cancel the battle there people there was a claw with the sweep hope you enjoyed it peace out